एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी सो आई एम नरेंद्र को लेटस बिगिन विद द टॉपिक दैट इज अ वोल्टेज सोर्स इन्वर्टर now if you want to study this topic in detail refer this book from s chand publishing e book link has been given in the description box voltage source inverter means inverting so we are basically here inverting the voltage inverting the voltage that is a voltage source inverter now in the that can be of two types one is a single phase means the power supply is a single phase power supply or second is a three phase single phase power supply or the three phase voltage source inverter and in the single phase or the three phase inverter these are also again of two types number one is a half bridge and second is the full bridge full bridge and half bridge firstly the voltage source inverter based upon the power supply that can be divided into two parts one is a single phase and three phase again depending upon the capacitance or depending upon the input value it can also be divided into two part one is a half bridge inverter and second one is a full bridge inverter now what is a half bridge inverter or the full bridge inverter firstly in case of this voltage inverter voltage phase inverter in its circuit diagram two capacitor C1 and C2 they are used. If we are using the power supply VDC, now across these two capacitor, basically these two capacitors are connected in the series mode. If these are the two capacitor here C1 and C2, they are connected in the series. Now the voltage drop across these two capacitors will be different. Now again. now if both of them are that they are connected in series then the voltage drop we also understood that if there are the two capacitor they are connected in series and if this is a current flowing through them then the voltage drop across them that will be same now if the power supply is connected to them is a having the value vdc here the everything that is connected with or that is operated with the dc power supply in this case now this dc power supply is connected to the capacitor c1 and the c2 now the voltage drop across this is vdc by half by 2 and across this is vdc by 2 so this is called the half bridge converter why this is called half bridge because the value of the voltage across to the two capacitor that is divided into two so there the voltage phase inverter so in the half bridge difference between half bridge and full bridge in the full bridge inverter two half bridge they are connected with each other means in the first half cycle for the first half when the upper side is in the operation operating mode that is in the connecting mode and the second part that means when the c2 capacitor that is in the non conducting mode that is called separately they are called the half bridge but when we completely see that the first half cycle for the first one the half bridge the when the q1 or the c1 when the c1 is in the conducting mode and for the second half the c2 is in the conducting mode combining these two they will act as an full bridge voltage phase inverter 
so voltage source inverter so in this case now how we can get the voltage means so for the half bridge there are the two capacitors which are connected to the power supply if this is the c1 and the c2 firstly we will understand its circuit diagram vdc that is the power supply this is the dc power supply here now this dc power supply is connected to the capacitor c1 and c2 let us suppose here is a positive half and this is a negative half now when the positive cycle positive is connected to this plate capacitor c1 so according to this what will happen the upper plate of this capacitor that will be charged positively so or the positive charge that will appear on this plate again due to induction as the charge is developed on the second plate also so in this case the second plate the negative charge that will be developed again due to induction of this the negative charge will be develop on this plates so the negative charge will develop on this plate and the positive charge will develop over this plate so this is the basically so that means this voltage is divided into two part across these two capacitor so across these two capacitor the voltage drop will occur for one is a v1 second one is a v2 means the v1 v dc voltage that is separated into two part one is v1 and second is v2 so across the capacitor c1 the voltage drop that is given by v dc by 2 and across this second this is also given as v dc by 2 so this is a voltage drop across both the capacitors now again these capacitors of one when the capacitor c1 and c2 they are in the charging mode so during charging there occur the current will flow through this and due to flow of the current across this we will get the output value again when during the discharging of the capacitor exponentially there occur discharging of the capacitor and during the discharging of the capacitor voltage across this system that will be decrease out so this is a basically half bridge and in the half bridge both are connected to connected in the series combination so here when we consider the full bridge full bridge is basically combination of two half bridge voltage source means two voltage source these two capacitors two half bridge voltage sources means these two capacitors they will act like an voltage source so these two capacitor that that will act like an voltage source then c1 and c2 these two capacitors are again connected to switches so here if this is a switch q1 and this switch is again connected to the diode d1 now this is again connected to here this is connected to switch q2 then again connected to the diode d2 here we will get the output value load is also connected in between these two so this is a complete circuit for this is a vdc now this is a complete circuit for this voltage source inverter so in the voltage source inverter capacitor c1 that is connected to the switch q1 and which is again connected to the diode d1 here this capacitor c2 that is again connected to the 
this is connected to the switch C2 and this is D2. Now you can take voltage output value across this load resistance or across this load resistance. You can take this value. Now these two halves, they on combining, they will make the full bridge inverter. Means when the, during the charging of this capacitor, the first half cycle means during this charging of these two capacitor, that one is work in the working mode and for second half cycle, this is in the working mode. So combination of these two will make the full bridge voltage source. So again, we will understand this. How, what is the work, meaning of the switches Q1 and Q2? So Q1 and Q2, these are the two switches. which are connected to the capacitors via two diodes D1 and D2. These two diodes, firstly these two diodes during charging of capacitors C1 and C2, these both the diodes, they are forward biased and the output will be added up. and we will get maximum value of output. During discharging of the capacitors, these diodes reverse biased And again the output will be maximum with negative value, negative magnitude. That will be maximum with the negative magnitude. So this is a circuit diagram here. So we will now discuss the conditions when these switches are in the on and in the off conditions. So now in the first part we have understood about the voltage source inverter, its two type half bridge and the full bridge and how they are operated. Now in the next part, part 2 we will understood its complete working. Now if you want to study this topic in detail, refer this book from S. Chand Publishing. E-book link has been given in the description box and if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and also press the bell icon for the future notifications. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.